Hi everyone! Today I wanted to make a video about my band t-shirt collection. Now, band t-shirts is pretty much all I wear. Literally, if I'm not going to work and I don't have a work outfit on, I'm wearing a band t-shirt. Like, I don't go into a store and say, I don't go into Target and say, oh, that's a cute shirt, let me get that. No. I exclusively wear band t-shirts. It's pretty sad, I guess, depending on who you ask. I mean, I am 22 years old, which explains why when I went on YouTube and looked for other band t-shirt videos, I saw a lot of Pierce the Veil, One Direction, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff that you can find at your local Hot Topic store. Now, I will admit, I have plenty of stuff from Hot Topic, but most of it's from online where the selection is bigger and there's more hard rock and metal options. But I have yet to see a video on YouTube with such as, not to toot my own horn, eclectic taste as mine. So I decided to make a video of my own of all of my band t-shirts. Now, I will try to do my best to keep this short and sweet, show you the shirt, tell you if I remember where I got it from, any any additional details that I want to share. All right, here we go. This first shirt is Avatar The Last Airbender, based off the show Avatar The Last Airbender. I believe I got this on eBay. The next t-shirt is Flyleaf. I got this online on hottopic.com. This is a Ghost Whisperer shirt. I made it myself, and as you can see, it says... The hole between our world and the spirit world is growing bigger every minute. I made this shirt so long ago, I don't even know what that's referencing. I don't know if I made that up or if it's coming from an episode of the show, but that's what it says. This is a Kingdom Hearts shirt. I am not sure where I got this. Kingdom Hearts 2 to be exact. This is a Harry Potter shirt. I got it when I was at Universal Studios in Florida. I picked it up in the Harry Potter store. This next t-shirt is the Carnival of Madness. I got it at the Carnival of Madness, which was headlined by Evanescence. So when I went to that tour, I got this shirt. This is a House Blues shirt. I got this also when I was in Florida. There is a House Blues at Downtown Disney, and I stopped in there and I got this shirt. Next t-shirt is a little bit, not the greatest quality. I made it myself, as you can see her <laughs> chin kind of or face kind of got cut off here. I made this myself. Another one that I made myself, a Linda Etter shirt. Um, Linda Etter is a theatrical performer, and with performers like that, there typically aren't a lot of t-shirts, so I took it on myself to make one of my own. Next t-shirt is Organization 13. This is referencing Kingdom Hearts. There is an evil organization in Kingdom Hearts called Organization 13. This is the shirt. I got this from Hot Topic. This is a Within Temptation shirt. I got this as a gift. I'm going to take a guess that it was probably from Rockabilia. When I ask for Christmas band t-shirt gifts, I usually give a list of suggested t-shirts, and I believe this was on Rockabilia's website. This t-shirt is another gift. This is another Kingdom Hearts shirt, which I got as a gift, and I believe it came from JCPenney. This is an Emily Autumn shirt. Emily Autumn on the first time I saw her, she had this big clock thing. And so I bought a t-shirt with a clock on it and rat in the middle. This t-shirt, I believe is one of the first t-shirts I got when I first started wearing band t-shirts. It's an Orianti shirt, which is from hottopic.com. This is another Kingdom Hearts shirt. It's the 358 slash seven days shirt. I got this from FYE. Here's another one. This is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I also got this at FYE, I believe. 99% positive that I got it at FYE. Oh my god. Here, I didn't realize how many Kingdom Hearts shirts I have. It's another Kingdom Hearts shirt, pretty much the same as the first one I showed you, except for it's in black and gray. Don't remember where I got this from. It's a whole shirt with the Live Through This album on it. Got this as a gift. I do not know where it is from pink shirt. I got this when I saw pink. It says the truth about love. I got it at the merch booth at the pink show. This is a shirt from the band Red. I believe I paid $10 for it. I saw them post something on Facebook about having cheap t-shirts, so I decided to buy one. And I believe it was like 10 bucks. This is a Seether shirt. It says words as weapons. 
it came with the Best Buy Deluxe Edition of their newest album. This is a Hailstorm shirt, Born to Die. Doesn't fit me, I've never worn it. It was an exclusive that you get if you are part of the Hailstorm fan club. This is a Jesse J shirt. Um, I will admit I haven't listened to really any of Jesse J's new stuff. I liked her first album. And so when it came out, I went and bought this shirt on Hot Topic's website. Jeez, I have too much stuff from Hot Topic. I need to stop giving people grief for wearing Hot Topic clothes. But like I said, it's mostly from online. This shirt is an In This Moment shirt when they came out with their album Blood. You guessed it from HotTopic.com. This is a shirt from one of my favorite bands, My Ruin. I got this on eBay and it came from the United Kingdom. This is a Nirvana shirt. Got this from Target, I believe. Which kind of conflicts with what I said earlier. I don't go into Target and buy t-shirts, but if they have a band t-shirt I like, I guess I'll pick it up. It's a Marilyn Manson shirt. I believe I got this from Hot Topic in-store. This is a shirt from the band We Is Human. I ordered it as a with a bunch of other shirts from Warner Brothers website. This shirt, I believe I got on the last time that I saw Ingrid Michaelson. I've seen her four times. No, actually, I take this back. It's the second to last time I saw Ingrid Michaelson. Got this shirt. Tour dates are on the back. This shirt. Oh, my God. I had so much trouble getting this shirt. That My Ruin shirt that I showed you before was the only My Ruin shirt I have, and they were one of my... They are one of my favorite bands. So... When My Ruin actually launched a uh, merch store online, I was all about it, but it was in the United Kingdom, and I placed this order for this shirt, and I guess I didn't include the zip code, and the merch company emailed me, and they were like, Daniel, we don't know where to ship this. Where is the zip code? And then I tried to email them back, and it said their mailbox is full. And so, long story short, I ended up having to send them a letter in the mail overseas just to tell them my fucking zip code. It's like you couldn't have Googled the town that I was in to find it. But anyway, I love this shirt. Hailstorm shirt from one of the many times that I've seen Hailstorm. I've seen Hailstorm five times, not to brag. It's from 2012. Hailstorm shirt. And then it has flags in the back of all the countries they went to in that tour. Evanescence shirt from the Open Door era, I guess. I got this on eBay. This is a Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo shirt. I got this when I saw them on their 35th anniversary tour. This is a Lacuna Coil shirt. There's our Dark Adrenaline right there. I believe I got this on Amazon. This is a horror pop shirt, which I sadly don't think I've ever worn yet. I got this as a Christmas gift, so I do not know where it is from. This is a Disturbed shirt, which I also got as a gift. Many of my Christmas gifts that I get over the years are just band t-shirts, so that's why I have so many shirts that are a gift. Disturbed Asylum shirt as a gift. I'm going to take a guess. It was probably from Rockabilly or somewhere like that. This is the Sarah Varela shirt that I got the last time I saw her. Tour dates are on the back. Uh, there are. This is a Nirvana shirt, which I got for Christmas. Christmas gift, yet again. Don't know where it's from. This is a t-shirt from the man device. Got this on Hot Topics website. This is a whole shirt, which, short story about this, it's a 2XL. I used to have it in an XL when these were originally sold by Hot Topic. I had it in an XL. I no longer fit into an XL most of the time. And I really wanted this in a 2XL, and I happened to come across it one day in Rockabilia. I paid $30 for this shirt, but it was my favorite whole shirt, so I was willing to pay the $30 for it in my size. But yeah, this came from Rockabilia, but when I had it in an XL, it came from HotTopic.com. Gemini Syndrome shirt. This came in the package that I told you about with the We Is Human shirt. Got this from the Warner Brothers website. This is a Nirvana shirt, which I want to say I got from Hot Topic's website. This is an If Then shirt. I saw the musical If Then starring Idina Menzel on Broadway, and so I picked up this shirt after the show. This is an Evanescence shirt, which I got from Hot Topic Online. This is a Slipknot shirt, which I got from in store. It's promoting The Great Chapter, their newest album, which, by the way, if you're thinking about getting a Slipknot shirt, do not order any of them from Hot Topic. They all suck. I have tried out a couple of them. They all are very thin, cheap quality. I don't know if it's the merch company that Corey Taylor is working with, because I also ordered a Stone Sour shirt, which, from Hot Topic, which was also really cheap, thin quality. It's another Evanescence shirt. I got this when they were on the Carnival of Madness. And you can see the tour dates here on the back. 
This is an OTEP shirt, which I got from the Victory Records website when she was signed to Victory Records. This is a Shinedown shirt, which I got from eBay. And it's funny, one time I work as a cashier, and when I was ringing somebody up, I saw someone wearing this same exact shirt. I was like, oh my goodness, I have that shirt too. This is another Marilyn Manson shirt. I got this on Hot Topics website. Another OTEP shirt. I got this from the Victory Records website. This is a Flyleaf shirt. Another one of the shirts from when I first started buying band t-shirts. Probably bought it around the same time that I got the Oriampi t-shirt. And I bought this from Hot Topics website. This is a Disturbed shirt. I got this from in-store at Hot Topics. This is an Alanis Morissette shirt. I got this from a website called Redbubble, which has designs from independent artists. And these designs can be made into cups, t-shirts, whatever. And so I took one of the Alanis Morissette designs that was up there and bought it as a t-shirt. This is actually my newest band t-shirt. Got this from um, Hot Topics website online. Only paid $11 for it. It's a Butcher Baby shirt. One of my favorite shirts. I got this not too long ago when I saw Butcher Babies open for In This Moment. This is a Huntress shirt. I got this as a Christmas gift and I know that it came from the Huntress website because when I asked for band t-shirts for a gift, I gave a specific link to this shirt and so I know it's from the Huntress's website. This is a Pop Evil shirt with Torn to Pieces on it, which is one of their singles. Got this from the Hot Topic website. This is an OTEP shirt, which I believe I got, no, I know I got, when I traveled all the way down, 12 hour ride on a Greyhound bus, two buses, to go see OTEP in Baltimore, Maryland. This is a device shirt, which I got from eBay. This is a Seether shirt, which I got in store on Hot Topic, at Hot Topic. This is a shirt from the band Epica. As you can see by the tag on it, I have not worn it yet, but I got it from online on Hot Topic. It was really cheap. I paid like $12 for it. I believe this is the first time, I, from the first time I saw Hailstorm. Strange Summer Tour, 48 summer back. Another flyleaf shirt. This is from Hot Topics website. This is a whole nobody's daughter shirt. I got this from the whole website when there used to be one. This is a shirt from Dead Sarah. I got this from Hot Topic Online. This is my newest shirt. I just got this the other day when I saw Idina Menzel, aka the Let It Go Lady. And the tour dates are here on the back. It's an In This Moment shirt, which I got from Hot Topic in-store. This is a Pretty Reckless shirt, which came with some exclusive deal on their website. I remember, I don't remember what the deal was, but I remember there was some exclusive deal on their website, and this was the shirt that came with it. This is a Lacuna Coil shirt. I got this as a gift. I'm gonna take a guess that it's from Rockabilia. This is my favorite Otep shirt. It's from the Victory Records website. It's a Marilyn Manson shirt from the last time that I saw him. I've seen him two times from the second time I saw him. Marilyn Manson, 28's on the back. You may have seen this shirt before. I wore it in one of my recent videos. Whole Celebrity Skin Shirt, which I got from Hot Topic in store, which I was shocked to see this. I walked in and I was like, a whole shirt in store? This is a Slipknot shirt from Hot Topic Online. Got this recently. This is a shirt from the band, The Letter Black. Got this from their website. It is a Nickelodeon shirt with a bunch of old 90s Nickelodeon characters on it. I got this at Colts. The Pretty Reckless shirt. Don't remember exactly where I got this from, but from the way this video seems to be going, probably got it from Hot Topic Online. This is a Drowning Pool shirt. I got this from Amazon. This is a The Nearly Dead shirt. I wore this one in my videos as well. I saw this when I saw them open up for In This Moment. This is an Emily Autumn shirt with actually Emily Autumn on it and not just a random picture of a rat in a wheel. And it says, Fight Like a Girl. And here are the tour dates from when I saw her. Another one of the shirts that I think I bought in my early days of starting to wear band t-shirts, and this is also one of my favorite shirts to go to to wear. I'm like, I don't know what to wear today. So I'll wear my wee is the Fallen shirt. Me the Fallen shirt. Whatever the hell they're called. I wear this a lot. It's one of my favorite shirts. I got this from Hot Topics website. P.S. We Are the Fallen needs to come back. Five Finger Death Punch shirt. I got this from 
in store and hot top. Say Brody Doll shirt. I got this from when I saw Brody Doll. One of Brody was great, but one of the worst um, concert experiences I've ever had. Her crowd was absolutely ridiculous and rowdy and rude. And I remember somebody, the t shirts was $20, which when I go to concerts, I would say the average price is 25 and above, more likely around 25 And I was happy to see a shirt for $20. And somebody was like, I can't believe t-shirts are $20 at a punk show. I'm like, she's not even punk anymore. She's like alternative rocks. And not to mention, she's pretty famous, so she's not about charging $10 for a t-shirt. All right, $20 is just fine in my book. And this is also one of my favorite t-shirts as well. Within Temptation Hydra shirt, I got this from eBay. It's my first Butcher Baby shirt from their Tour Cycle of Goliath. I got this from their online merch store, Flyleaf shirt, which I will never forget because it was $7 on their website. And then I was like, oh, this is so great. This is so cheap. And then it was $7 shipping. So I paid the same fucking price to ship it as I did to fucking get the shirt. $7 Flyleaf shirt from their official website. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite t-shirts, like, the holy grind, like, if I lost this shirt, I would cry. Not just because I paid $40 for it, but Alison Irohita is one of my favorite artists. She was one of the first, you know, rock concerts that I went to, pop rock, whatever you want to call it, elitist. Um, so yeah, this shirt means a lot to me. I paid $40 for it at the merch booth, and I love it. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's an XL. And I am not an XL at all, but I stretched it out so it can fit because I love this shirt so much. This is a Fireflight shirt, which I actually designed myself on custominc.com. Here's the back. This is a Deep Dark Robot shirt. It's kind of thin, it's not my favorite shirt to wear. But Deep Dark Robot, if you don't know them, there are Linda Perry's band, and this is their shirt. I got it from their official website. It's an American Idol Live shirt. Got this from the 2014 tour of American Idol Life. It's a drowning pool shirt. Children of a Gun, which I either got from eBay or Amazon, one of the two. This is an In This Moment shirt, which I got from their tour when I saw them live with Butcher Babies and the Nearly Dead. This is an In This Moment shirt, which I think I got from their website and it does not fit me anymore. This is a horror pop shirt, which I think I got from Amazon or I got as a gift, I do not remember. This is a Crystal Bower Socks shirt. I got this from the first time I saw her in Boston. Crystal Bower Socks. This is a Hailstorm shirt. And funny story about this shirt, when I met Hailstorm, I was wearing this shirt and RJ the drummer says to me, I like your shirt. I want to purchase it. And I was so starstruck. I was like, <laughs> didn't know what to say. So fun fact about this shirt. This is uh, the Pretty Reckless shirt. I think from the first time I saw them, it was $20. I remember that because I was impressed with the price. It's a nice t-shirt for 20 bucks. This is a Stolen Baby shirt, which I got from their website. This is a Sister Sin shirt, which I got from Victory Records website. This is a New Year's Day shirt. I got this from Hot Topic Online. And fun story about this shirt, I don't know how New Year's Day found a picture of me wearing this shirt, but come to find out when I Googled myself one time, they actually posted a picture of me wearing this shirt. Like, and I was like, what the fuck? They couldn't even tag me in it and tell me that they were gonna put a picture of me on their Facebook? Like over 300 people liked it. This is a Nirana shirt, which I believe I got from Hot Topic in store. This next shirt, I don't think I've ever worn. It was from a short phase when I was really into Britney Spears. Got this from Hot Topic in store. This is a whole shirt, skinny little bitch. I got this from Hot Topic's website. And last but not least, Evanescence shirt, which I got from Hot Topic in store. Actually, I lied. This is the last shirt. Joan Jet, which I believe I got from Hot Topic in store as well. In total, out of all of these shirts I counted, if I counted correctly, I had 102 t-shirts. Insanity. And I'm sure I have a couple that are in the wash or need to be brought up from laundry. But that is all the t-shirts that I have to show you right now. What you think of my collection? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button if you have not subscribed already. Thank you very much for watching my band t-shirt collection video. Bye.